What's up, people of the interwebs? Explosion Flosion here back again today with another episode of our Pokemon Sun Let's Play. Last episode, we took on our fifth, or is it sixth? I think it's our sixth trial, actually. Yeah, it is. We took on our sixth trial and headed back to the Aether Foundation, had a run in with Team Skull, and they are holding this little girl's young goose for ransom, basically just to kind of get us alone. So we are actually going to be going in right now to go take this guy out. And unfortunately, now we gotta go around like that. There we go. Alola? Question mark? You don't know if you're saying hello or not? What is this? Get out of here. Oh, cool guy. Ace Trainer Yuki. Since that was Sanshu. Wait, is that a Lolan? Oh, it is a Lolan. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Alright, um. Pokemon. Actually, BMC is gonna have to deal with this one. Iron Head, that might hurt a little bit. A lot of it. How about a Brick Break? Will Brick Break do anything to you? Alright, so we have speed. And Brick Break will destroy you. Okay. What do you got next for me? What do you got? You got a Marowak? You got that Alolan Marowak. I think you're Ground Fire, right? Anyway, I know you're part fire. No, you're ghost fire, that's what it is. You're ghost fire. Anyway, but you're part fire, so... Wishy-washy can deal with you here. I'm about to get schooled. Get straight schooled on. And we'll just brine. Boomerang. Is it two hits, or is it, like, up to five? It's two hits, okay. Brine. Bye, Marowak. Alright. Alola. He obviously just doesn't know what he's doing here. Neither do I, though. So who am I to judge? You say it again? Alola. Yeah, now you know what you're saying. What's this? A Hyper Potion. I'll gladly take free Hyper Potion. Alright, I thought I saw a Zygarde on the beach before. Oh, there you are. Alright, now strange man wearing a kimono. I'll talk to you. You look familiar. Man oh man, what's going on today? Somebody actually bothered coming to this sad place? It is Grimsley! Wait a minute, why are you here? Well, no matter, I'll take you on, keep coming. Tell me, un Uncle Grimsley is going to flip a coin, will it be heads or tails? Neither. Astonishing. I had indeed been planning to have Skarmory snatch it out of the air as it spun in the sky. A loss is a loss. I'll give you Sharpedo's info for every Poke Pager that ride them off to victory. Maybe you don't need to hear this from me, but I'm going to tell you anyway. If you press B while riding Sharpedo there, it'll jet forward and rocks um smash through those rocks like those ones there. And there's a bit of unwa here's a bit more of unwanted advice. Poe Town lies at the other end of Route 16 there, but it's thoroughly occupied by Team Skull. You shouldn't you shouldn't go there unless you want trouble. If somebody wins a battle and they win without doubt, then w without doubt someone else has to have lost the battle. That's the way of battle. I hope I might battle you someday. Does it give me a choice now? No, it's always Lapras if I always just want to ride. Alright, so let's do this then. I wonder if there's anything cool on that island there. Oh, hello, Finneon. Thirty-one. The wild Pokemon are starting to get really strong here. Eh, if there's something like this, like right in the middle here, I feel like that there would definitely be something here. Oh, look at that—a TM. And we got Wild Charge, nice!
Ah, I hate even spawning in the grass. Hey, hey, come out here, my Pokemon. Ah, great. Well, new challenge by Ace, Ace Trainer Carla. She sends out Vulpix. That is also a low one. Oliver, I don't really want you near that, so we're gonna switch you out real quick. Ice again, so yet again we will go with Prebrawler. One Brick Break should do the trick. Hex? Oh boy. Well, it's not Stab, so... Brick Break, who's faster? Vulpix is faster, but oh, it's just safeguarding? That's fine. And goodbye, Vulpix. I want to level up? No one wants to level up. And a Haunter. Alright, I know Haunter is faster. But... Actually, school form should be able to take you out with a beat-up. My school beat up. You know, if I could actually get like Darkium Z on um somewhere. There's only one more trial that bothers me. Because we still have the entire second island. Or fourth island, I mean. Alright, this might hurt a bit. Just don't break out of school form, we'll be fine. Alright, come on, Wishy Washi, you can do this. There we go. That's one. Two. Three, four, five, and there we go. That's all we needed. All right, you're gonna go to 36 really quick. All right, we're at 110, 110, 113, 106. All right, nice. And Wigglytuff. Hmm, I feel like you're part normal type still. Like normal fairy or something. Well, you will send in spirit. I really need to heal though. Everyone's getting worn down. You're only 33. High horsepower though. See, I wish I had stamina. I could have been that plus 3 now. I would have been a plus 4. Oh, uh, these battles are getting to be a bit much. Come on, you can do it. Disable? Oh, now you're gonna disable high horsepower? Bulldoze, I guess. Oh, double slap again. Look at that, we would've been at plus five. We would've been at plus six. And of course, you're immobilized by love, which means we gotta switch. Come back, you boy. Sing, but avoids it. Alright, I think you're faster than me, but hopefully we can... Nope, sing, but we avoid again! Smackdown. And good thing I used Smackdown instead of Thunder Punch. And goodbye. Alright, that's gonna bring you to 31. Spirit's gonna go to 34. Spirit wants to learn Heavy Slam. How heavy are you exactly? I mean, I'll del- mm. High Horsepower is 95 and 95. Bolt does a 60 and 100. Double Kick is- Yeah, we'll delete it for Double Kick for right now. If we happen to get a better fighting move that we can actually put on you, then we'll switch it. But for now- Alright everybody, back inside your Pokeballs. Alright, so now that that's over with. Alright, now what we got now? 
Because just leisurely riding a Pokemon with Rust Skin is its base ability. Oh, a Tentacle, hello. I don't need you though. Aside from just smashing through barriers, what's the point of the rocks being there? Because the rocks are in some odd places. But I don't see any single like, items or Pokemon coming out just for smashing it. Hello, Finneon. Alright, come on. So let's not do that. But I'll take a free item. Dive ball? Okay. No, but why? There we go. Oh, what we got? I see a Pokemon Center up ahead. Another tentacle. I never find any cool like water type Pokemon from Alola. I found Wishy Washy. Snoutland, is there anything on the beach here? I found another pearl. Come on, Stalin. And a normal gem, okay. Alright, first things first, we need to heal. Second thing second, we need to go into that little bunker over there on the corner, I see. A Pokemon with the ab power of the alchemy ability will change its ability based on the ability of a defeated ally. A Pokemon with the receiver ability takes over the ability of a defeated ally, so its ability will be the same as the fainted ally. Those double team strats, even if they, with the same drink, the flavor is different in each cafe. Hello, Aether Foundation. I hate you. You're a trainer, right? Want to do a little job for me? Sure, why not? I'm looking for information about a Pokemon called Mimikyu, so how about you go catch a Mimikyu for me and show me the data? It's an odd thing that it looks like it's got a sack on its head. This is the site of the abandoned thrifty Megamart, you know it? Yeah, I know it. I was trying to catch one. I spent like about 10 minutes earlier. The ability of Marine at Topex Merciless makes attacks always result with critical hits if the target is poison. It's very mean, isn't it? I mean, I'm developing some, uh, you know, the pro strats. Alright, we're starting to full health. Great. Alright, do I get anything new now in the shops? Yeah, you have that Z crystal. What, what else is what else is new? What do you have? Nothing really great. Okay, we're, we're gonna leave then. But now that we're all healed up. Who are you? Using Sharpedo Jet can break boulders. I wonder which would come out on top of Taurus and Sharpedo when to go head to head. Ooh, wait a minute, I see you. Get over here. And we got Exazer, nice. Back underneath, and this looks like an Aether Foundation little bus. My spin has got a spot on top of its head. This scattering of faint spots in the field fur could feast on them all day. Okay, yeah, you say the same thing. No, I don't want to talk to you. There we go. If you want to know which Spinda has the best spots here, there's no way to put it spin it. It's obviously this one right here, right? And how deep and rich its coloration is and its positioning is positively art. But this is just weird that there's three Spindas here. So we're going to go into the Aether Foundation boss because I think this is where Dexio is. Yep! I've been waiting for you. Now let me explain about the research researchability unit. Cena, don't even waste a second. Have you been collecting Zygarde cells and cores? 
You collect 10 or more cells and cores combined. Anyway, I'll explain. The reassembly unit is a device that has something to do with the Pokemon Zygarde, or Zygarde. The machine is capable of assembling and separating of Zygarde. Assembly is to create a Pokemon called Zygarde. Now, Dexio, it's your turn. Oh, Sina, Sina, Sina. Anyway, there are two ways to assemble Zygarde. One is to add cells you collected to Zygarde, and the other is to create a new Zygarde with only cells. Next, we'll explain about separation. To separate Zygarde, it means to return Zygarde to its cells. Separated cells will return to the Zygarde cube. For your information, according to the research by the professor who sent us to Alola, Zygarde is divided into 100 cells and cores. Depending on the number of cells and cores, the shape of Zygarde will be different. In other words, Zygarde changes its form. Zygarde is said to remain- Ah, oh, maintain the order of the Kalos region. Then why is it in Alola? Is it a sign that something is about to happen? If you collect Zygarde's cells and cores, you may get the answer. Anyhow, we'll be taking our leave now. Bon voyage. So wait, can I assemble it yet? There's always three Pokemon in these labs. Who are you? The Zygarde cube is a mysterious object in which you can store Zygarde's cells and cores. I heard that a professor called Sycamore in the Kalos region found it. What would you like to do? Assembly. Using Zygarde and the Zygarde cube. Using the Zygarde cube only. Zygarde will be assembled with the cores and cells in the cube only. The 10% stored in the Zygarde cube will be used to assemble Zygarde 10% form. Is that okay? Yes! A new Zygarde has been assembled! Zygarde 10% form. Zygarde has gone into a Pokeball. Zygarde's data will be added to the Pokedex. Why is it yellow? Why was that like extra special registration? Is that just what happens when you register a legendary Pokemon? You re yep, you registered a legendary Pokemon. Well, that's legendary. Let's check it out. Its sharp fangs make short work of finishing off its enemies, but it's unable to maintain this body indefinitely. For a period of time, it falls apart. Would you like to give him a nickname? Nah, he'll just stay as Zygarde for now. Where would you like to send him? I will add him to- I actually want to see his summary really quick. Alright, so you know Land's Wrath already, and you have a naughty nature. Alright, you're going into the, um, box, though. Alright, awesome, so we got one- so we got Zygarde registered now. Alright, now let's just check around here really quick before continuing. Oh, that guy wants to fight me already. Ah, there's the item I was looking for. PP up, nice. Alright, continuing onwards, though. What we got over here. Alright, so we passed by that. Some tall grass. Some berries. No crab brawler. So we got a petri berry. A persian berry. And another persian berry. Okay. Oh, hello. The nectar that lets Oricoco change forms is a bit different from one meadow to the next. I wonder what an Oricoco would look like if they tried some of Ula, Ula's Meadow Nectar. Now, well, up here looks like a cesspool, so I'm guessing we found the right place. Oh no, it's just because it's... Huh. Nice, we found another Zygarde. And we got a Poke Finder spot here. What we got here, though? Oh, hello, Ledian. Get over here. Sounds like there's an Oricoco or something around. But I don't see one. There we go. Alright, there we go. We got all of our pictures. We'll lose the last one. Alright, what are my comments? What are you trying to do to my eyes? The flowers are so pretty. Afternoon. All I see is fog. This is not good enough for an amateur. Wow. Like, no one liked that. Whatever. We're done here. Alright. Continuing on. Oh, there's the nectar. Do I have to be down in there to go get it? 
Oh, that was a red nectar. Now I wonder, if I just feed my one Oricoco the nectar from other flowers, does it change? Alright, what level are you? You are level 33. Oh yeah, they're jumping up fast. But I think we can beat Kazuma like this. Oh, come on. Oh, I can't help but want to battle a tra when a trainer is present. I mean, I can try and avoid you guys. I I'm fine with that. Dancer Marcel. Was that it? Or Muriel? I don't even know where I saw Marcel then. Don't mind me, just can't speak. Alright, so you have fire flying. Well, there's only one thing for it, boys. And it's ya boy. You know, actually, in between the next episode and this episode, I think I'm actually going to get this all set up where I can be able to trade from my game over so you guys can just see that evolution real quick. Alright, but let's see, what do we want? Do we want Thunder Punch? We want Thunder Punch. Actually, you know I'm gonna get that set up right now. Thunder Punch, your boy coming through. That's still not enough because you're not a high enough level or have a strong enough attack stat yet. Teeter Dance already confused. Come on, you can break through one more time. Yes! Alright, fantastic. Bandito grows to 35. Uh, no way I'd lose if you- if- I'd lose if this were about dancing. Maybe you wouldn't, I'm horrible at dancing. Oh, there's an item in there? See, now you've piqued my interest. But then that's gonna happen. Oh, hello, Ribombi. Actually, I will catch you. Bug Buzz, that might actually hurt a bit. Oh, that's gonna hurt a lot, actually. Oh, nope. Wait, Ghost Resist Bug, doesn't it? Perfect! Alright, that's another one added to the Pokedex. Or not. Draining Kiss? Get out of here with that. This should actually boost me up a little bit in both both my levels. Alright. Netball, is that good against bugs? Yeah, it's good against bug or water. So you know what? You're pretty low, and we'll use the net. Really? Oh, you're just gonna keep draining kissing me, aren't you? You're actually taking a substantial amount of health out with that. Alright, well we could just Razor Leaf really quick. There we go. Uh, do I have any more? Yep, there we go. Nest Balls. So we have another 10. Come on, Ribbon B. 1. 2. Three. Oh, come on! Bug Buzz. No, don't call for help. Alright, good, help did not appear. Alright, let's do this one more time. It's been enough turns. One. Two. Sweet scent, please, nope. Uh... Stop trying to call for help. You should not have a friend. No. Smack you down. 
Yeah, I'll take a sweet scent. I'll even take the silver one. Why did that do so much damage? Why did that not kill you? Oh no. Well, I don't know why that does so much damage, but okay. Alright, we're not losing one more though. If we lose one more, we just leave. I forgot your part fairy. Nice, you won't die now. The silver one won't kill me. Alright, I'm really hoping that one of you does not die from this. Or that both of you don't die from this. Cause I know you will. You'll take some damage. Alright, you took barely any, that's good. There we go. BMC goes to 34. Sweet scent. Come on. Once I catch you, we'll actually probably... No, don't you dare. Unless one of you is shiny, there better not be anyone showing up. Training kiss, I'll take a training kiss, I don't care. Seven seven health. That'll bring you back in the yellow, right? Nope, you're still in the red. Stop calling for help! One more turn of this. If it calls for help against another one, we're done. I'm not doing this. Oh, and of course that one lives. You I mean, know what, the fact that that one could live this flame burst makes me want that one more. So we're gonna kill the original. There we go, perfect. Now if you call for help, we leave. Because honestly, I'm just tired of this. You did not call for help. Good. Come on. One. Two. Three. Finally! Jeez. Ah. Ribbon B was caught. Bandito's gonna grow to 36. Pro and B's data was added to the Pokedex. And that's gonna be another page completion. Go, Rotom. I didn't even read the Pokedex entry, because I don't care. I don't even have an actual name for you. You don't get one, actually. If I give you a nickname, it's gonna be when I actually make one of you that is competitive. Awesome, a repeat ball. Alright, so now... I just want to do this really quick. There we go. We're gonna trade with my other game really quick. Oh, we actually have a lot more Pokemon than I originally thought. And we will trade Graveler real quick. And you know what, for Pokedex reasons, we will get this Charge Bug. Ok, 
your communication error occurs or your Pokemon system getting turned off, you're trading Pokemon, you won't be able to trade po Pokemon for a while. Alright, so we won't actually get to see the evolution, which is unfortunate, but we'll see him when he comes back in a second. Actually, we can technically see it still. First off, data is added to the Pokedex on both sides. Alright, and here we go. I'll actually get to show you guys up top. Hopefully the camera actually wants to pick it up, because it is bright. It looks like it's gonna glare. Do you see this? No? The glare is too strong? You'll see him in a second. He's definitely interesting. Come on, game. It's Pokedex entry. Because it can't fire boulders at rapid pace, it's been known to um to seize nearby Geodude and fire them from its back. Alright, saving. Alright, and we'll, we'll now trade back really quick. Trade and trade. And once we get this back, we will actually then probably end today's episode. But now we got more Pokemon, so that's always fun. Alright, so returning charge back to Alu. Give me back my Golem. And there you are. Listen over your boy. And Golem Zeta will be added to the Pokedex. Now let's see if it's any different in um, Sun as opposed to Moon, because sometimes Pokedex entries differ. First off, that's the full page done. Hot diggity, look at you, you're on fire, partner. You fill up every Pokemon on a single page, like playing bingo. Fires, rocks, charged with electricity. Even if the rock isn't fired that accurately, just gra um, grazing an opponent will cause numbness and fainting. And saving that. Alright, and let's both back out of here. No, so that's actually a, not too bad of a thing to try and do to trade. Alright, but either way, so that's where I will end today's episode. As always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Next episode, we will be continuing on trying to find Team Skull's little town hideout. But until then, just like the fog drifting through here over the water in the back, go with the flow. I'll catch you guys next time.